Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. In today's video I thought that we would take a closer look at Onion OS for Mayo Mini and Mayo Mini Plus. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically a custom firmware that will enhance every single bit of your Mayo Mini experience. Two of my handheld sponsors actually contacted me almost at the same time and expressed their interest in sending me a Mayo Mini Plus with customized Onion OS installed for me to showcase to my viewers. And since I've been wanting to create a video featuring this OS, I thought that now would be a perfect time to do so. Both of these sponsors, Lit NXT and MechDIY, sell the Mayo Mini Plus with Onion OS pre-installed. But you can of course also buy the slightly cheaper version without Onion OS and then install it yourself. But for the most smooth and perfect out-of-the-box experience, you should buy it with Onion OS pre-installed. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So first and foremost, what is Onion OS? Well, as I said in the beginning, it's a custom firmware for Mayo Mini and Mayo Mini Plus designed to do things a little better than the stock firmware by adding a few quality of life improvements. I will go through some of the features in this video, but among the perks we get a game switcher, which is a feature that enables you to quickly browse and resume your last games played. To access the game switcher, simply press the menu button and you will be presented with a screenshot of your recent game progress. Navigate through the list of last played games using the left and right buttons. Additionally, there's a package manager, a tool that enables users to effortlessly install and uninstall emulators and apps over Wi-Fi. Furthermore, there is a themes manager that provides previews of different themes before installation and an activity tracker for personal or parental use, perfect if you intend to give the Mayo Mini to a child. So as you understand, there's a bunch of other tweaks and features as well, and now I want to go through some of my favorites. The first thing you want to do when you get your Onion OS device is to go into settings and then Wi-Fi and turn it on. The device will start scanning for your Wi-Fi and once it finds it, go ahead and type in your password to hook it up. And here, next to the battery indicator, you can now see that this device is connected to Wi-Fi. And once we are connected, go inside the apps folder and open the package manager. Inside here, we have a bunch of apps and emulators that we now can install directly onto our device over Wi-Fi without having to take out the memory card, something that wasn't possible before on the stock firmware. Hit R2 to change to the Apps tab and from there scroll down to Onion OTA Update and hit A to turn it on. Then click on Start to get to a summary page and then start again to add it to your apps section on the device. You will be taken back to the apps list, so scroll down to the bottom and open up the OTA updater that we just installed. And first off you will be asked if you want to install the latest stable version or the latest beta version. I usually go with the stable version for best performance. The OTA updater will look for any updates and let you know if there's a version that you can install. So click your way through the installation and answer a few questions whether you're sure you want to download and install the latest version. This whole download and install process took about 7 or 8 minutes in total and it sure is a whole lot easier than having to take out the memory card and reflash it on a computer every time you want to update it. And once the update is complete your device will restart and you will be up and running on the latest firmware. Another app that you can install is a clock app that will set an emulated time on your device so that games like Pokemon won't have issues with real world time. Next, I'd like to introduce you to a particularly exciting feature that I've discussed in many other videos, Retro Achievements. Retro Achievements are precisely what the name implies, achievements that you can unlock for your favorite retro games, significantly extending the replay value. All you have to do to get going with Retro Achievements is to go to retroachievements.org and create a free account. Then go inside the apps menu on your device and start RetroArch. Scroll down to settings and then scroll down again to achievements. Type in your Retro Achievements username and password and once you're done with that, back out to the first menu and scroll down to configuration file. Click on save current configuration and then exit out of RetroArch. Now you will have achievements for all games and systems that support it. If a game or system does not support achievements, it will say so at the bottom of the screen when you launch a game, and you might need to change the emulator for it to work. And speaking of that, changing emulator core is, thanks to Onion OS, easier than ever. When you hover over a game, simply press Y to open the GLO menu or game list option. 
From here you can reset the game if you don't want to start from the latest save state, you can start a network game or change the emulator core to another one. This is great since some games will work much better with certain emulators. Or as I said you want to simply play over another emulator that supports retro achievements. But now I want to shift focus to a few nice features built into the Onion OS menu button. If you press and hold the menu button and at the same time click on one of the other buttons you will activate a function like toggle FPS on or off or toggle fast forward on and off which is awesome for every game that has a lot of dialogue that you have read a hundred times before already. And of course you can create a save state which you can then instantly load into. Now, many of these software features are of course possible to achieve straight from within RetroArch, but with Onion OS all of this have been set up for you from the beginning. I'd like to show you two other noteworthy features as well. Firstly, if you frequently play Game Boy games, the default color scheme on the screen will be this DMG one. However, you have the option to cycle through several others by pressing L2 and R2, allowing you to select your preferred color scheme for each game. And the other feature that is just as good is the possibility to change the scaling of a game directly by clicking the menu button and then the start button. By doing this it's super easy to jump between different scaling options until you find your preferred one. And a couple of other things, if you want to add a game to your favorites then you can simply hover over it and then click the select button and add it to your favorites or you can even delete it from the card should you want that. And if you have a trillion gazillion games on your device and you want to find a specific one, you can search for it by once again hovering over a game and clicking select. Then tap on search and type a few letters of the game you want to find and then hit OK to find all the games with those letters. And lastly I just want to briefly show you two more very simple QOL improvements with Onion OS. If you go into the themes manager you will now see a preview of every single theme that you can choose among. This makes it so much more convenient to change theme as you don't have to install them and back out every time to see the final result. A large amount of themes are pre-installed with Onion OS but you can of course add even more should you want that. And the last thing I want to show you in this brief Onion OS showcase is the game switcher. Simply tap the menu button while in any game to activate it. From here you can cycle through your last games using the D-pad and jump straight back to wherever you left the game. You will see a screenshot for every specific game so you know exactly where that is. And that's been it for this Onion OS showcase that came pre-installed on these Myo Mini Pluses from Lit NXT and Mech DIY. So big shout out to them for sponsoring this video with the devices. I hope that you liked this showcase and that you can give this video a like if you did. Comment down below what you think of the Onion OS versus the stock experience. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already for more content like this in the future. For instance I will make a guide on how you can install Onion OS yourself if you already have a Mayo Mini without it. So hit the bell so you don't miss that. Thanks for watching, Tech Cravers out.